The best in the US. Take on the best in the world. It's a skill for skill. Face off. Gymnastics like you've never seen it before. Uh, PGC was something really special, something really unique. Uh, the sport of gymnastics has been kind of stagnant for a long time. It needed something to really kick it into the 21st century a little bit. Um, you know, Brent has really put a lot of time and energy into creating this new atmosphere, this new competition. The athletes absolutely love it. I was fortunate enough to be a part of it as one of the referees. And I really think it's kind of the new evolution, new generation of what gymnastics is moving towards. See a lot of the X Games and these, these other sports kind of moving in that way. And gymnastics has that same kind of atmosphere, that same kind of skill level. And why not kind of take uh, the new viewer into that realm and kind of make them understand that gymnastics is more than just the Olympics. It happens every day in the gym. And we can kind of give them that experience through the, the PGC. My role for the PGC was I was the meet referee, a kind of rules official. I was the one kind of in charge to making sure that the rules were, were kind of upheld and people knew what was going on and to be honest with you we were kind of learning, it was a learning process for all of us. So as we were going along certain situations would come up that we weren't quite prepared for. Uh, there was a protest that happened and we kind of had to make sure that it was as fair as possible. I think uh, the US based crowd was very much as you would expect voting for the United States. So. I love the interaction with the crowd to help vote for uh, the eventual winner in tie situations. But when you have such a high, you know, a U.S.-based crowd, they're going to they're vote for uh, the guys that they like to see every day, the Team USA. They're little kids, and they have a phone, and they're going to vote for Team USA. Actually, in the competition, there were kind of two moments that stood out to me. One was when Paul Ruggieri um, did the three-and-a-half punch front fold that Andy Smith had done, and he did it perfectly. First time he had ever tried it, and he did it absolutely perfectly. That was incredible. And then obviously the point at the end, Alina Weinstein, when she did the double front half out to, to get U.S. back in the, on the offense and tie it up, another skill she had never performed before. It absolutely looked like the world team had taken the lead and the, and the win, and they brought it back in Team USA's favor. Absolutely. I think the PGC has a lot of room to grow. Uh, there are some great aspects to it the first time around, but obviously there's some kinks that need to be worked out. I think it was a little bit long, especially for the spectators that were there in the audience. Um, there were some troopers. There were some young kids that were there from start to finish, and I really applaud the fact that they have so much passion for the sport and were willing to stay there the whole, the whole time. Gymnastics competitions in general are kind of long, and this one kind of dragged on a little bit more than I think we'd like to see in the future. But in terms of, of pure concept, I think the PGC has a, um, some, some great ideas, and I really think that the athletes love it, and uh, as we kind of condense it and work out the tweaks, the fans are going to love it just as much. Hey all you gymnastics fans out there, I'm David Durante. For more information and videos from the PGC, check out professionalgymnastics.com.